In the shadows of our ever-evolving world, where every sunrise seems to usher in new uncertainties, humankind has long pondered a question as old as time itself. How will our story end? Scientists speculate with furrowed brows over the catastrophic potential of nuclear warfare, a force so devastating that it could erase cities in the blink of an eye. Virologists warn of rogue pathogens, invisible yet relentless, with the power to sweep through populations like wildfire. Astronomers gaze into the vast cosmos, tracking celestial bodies, knowing that the impact of a rogue asteroid could shatter the calm of our blue planet. Yet amidst these forecasts of doom and gloom, there lies a different kind of prophecy, one etched in the pages of history's best-selling book. The Bible, a tome of ancient wisdom and divine revelation, offers a glimpse into a future foretold with vivid imagery and mysterious symbolism. At the heart of this prophetic vision is the Book of Revelation, a text that has captivated and puzzled scholars and faithful alike for centuries. It speaks of times to come, not through the lens of human prediction, but through divine revelation. Today, we embark on a journey through the enigmatic passages of this sacred scripture, peeling back the layers of metaphor and allegory to uncover what may lie ahead. So fasten your seatbelts and prepare your minds as we delve into the unknown, guided by the most intriguing, the most debated, and perhaps the most terrifying book of the Bible, the Book of Revelation. Stay with us as the future unfolds in ways you may never have imagined. Nestled at the very end of the Bible is the Book of Revelation, a text unlike any other in the sacred scriptures. Its pages don't just recount history or offer moral teachings. Instead, they paint a vivid picture of the future, one filled with visions and prophecies about the ultimate fate of the world. This isn't just another chapter in the Bible. It's the grand finale, the culmination of a narrative that spans from the creation of the world to its eventual end. The Book of Revelation stands unique, not only in its content, but in its style and imagery. It's a tapestry woven with symbols, numbers, and visions, rich with meaning and shrouded in mystery. This is no ordinary prophecy. It's a divine revelation given to John, the last of Christ's apostles, offering a glimpse into what awaits humanity at the end of days. Its verses echo with the sound of trumpets and the roar of beasts, the clash of heavenly armies, and the promise of a new dawn after the darkest of nights. But why does this ancient text resonate so strongly with us today? Perhaps it's because, within its lines, we find a reflection of our deepest fears and highest hopes. In a world where uncertainty looms large and the future seems shrouded in shadow, the Book of Revelation offers a narrative that transcends time, speaking to the eternal struggle between good and evil, chaos and order, despair and salvation. It challenges us to look beyond our immediate reality, to consider the larger cosmic drama in which we all play a part. It's more than a book. It's a journey into the heart of what it means to be human in a world hanging in the balance. In the mysterious and symbolic pages of the Book of Revelation, the earth is foretold to tremble like never before. The prophecy speaks of earthquakes of such magnitude that they surpass anything ever experienced by humanity. Then the thunder crashed and rolled, and lightning flashed, and a great earthquake struck, the worst since people were placed on the earth, proclaims Revelation 16, 18. These are not mere tremors, but cataclysmic events, reshaping continents and redefining landscapes. Fast forward to today, and the words penned thousands of years ago seem to echo in our modern world with unsettling clarity. Scientists, with their instruments and data, are sounding alarms about the increasing frequency and intensity of seismic activities. We're living in an era where the term super-earthquake has entered our lexicon, a testament to the growing concern among experts about the potential for unprecedented seismic disasters. It's as if the Earth itself is groaning, warning us of the tumult that lies beneath our feet. This convergence of ancient prophecy and modern science 
forms a narrative bridge that spans millennia. On one side, we have the biblical visionaries, who, through divine revelation, foresaw a world shaken to its core. On the other, we have today's geologists and seismologists, armed with technology, observing shifts in the very fabric of our planet. Both point to a reality where the ground we stand on is not as solid and unchanging as it may seem. It's a poignant reminder that sometimes, to understand our future, we need to revisit the visions of the past and heed the warnings that resonate through time. In the heart of the book of Revelation lies a series of ominous prophetic visions known as the seven seals and seven trumpets. These are not just forewarnings, but divine decrees, each unleashing a cascade of catastrophic events upon the earth, heralding significant shifts in the course of human history. The seven seals are the first to be broken, each unveiling a new layer of impending tribulation. The first seal introduces the Antichrist, a deceptive figure of power and conquest, riding forth on a white horse. The second seal turns peace into war, painting the earth red with conflict as a fiery red horse gallops into the fray. With the third seal, scarcity and famine grip the world, signified by a black horse whose rider holds the scales of rationing and want. The fourth seal reveals a pale horse, its rider named Death, given authority to claim a quarter of the earth through sword, famine, pestilence, and wild beasts. The fifth seal uncovers the cries of martyrs, longing for justice under the altar of God. As the sixth seal breaks, the very fabric of creation trembles. Earthquakes, a darkened sun, a blood-red moon, and stars falling from the heavens, as if nature itself is in upheaval. And when the seventh seal is opened, it ushers in an eerie silence in heaven, a prelude to the trumpets that await. With the blast of the seven trumpets, the calamities intensify. The first trumpet brings hail and fire, mingled with blood, scorching the earth. The second turns the sea to blood, with a burning mountain plunging into its depths, decimating marine life. The third trumpet darkens the waters as wormwood, a blazing star, falls from the heavens, turning fresh waters bitter and lethal. The fourth trumpet dims the celestial lights, a partial darkness cloaking the sun, moon, and stars. The fifth trumpet opens the abyss, releasing a horde of locusts with the power to torment. The sixth trumpet unleashes a deadly army, killing a third of mankind. And with the seventh trumpet, the kingdom of this world becomes the kingdom of our Lord, a moment of divine victory amid the chaos. These apocalyptic visions, though unique in their symbolism, echo the plagues of Egypt from the time of Moses. Rivers turning to blood, darkness covering the land, and locusts devouring the crops. It's as if the plagues were a shadow, a foretaste of the greater judgment to come. The seven seals and seven trumpets of Revelation stand as a testament to the recurring patterns of divine intervention throughout history, each event intricately woven into the fabric of prophecy serving as a stark reminder of the power and sovereignty that orchestrate the destiny of the world. In today's world, where headlines often read like excerpts from an apocalyptic novel, it's hard not to notice the uncanny parallels between contemporary events and the ancient prophecies of the Bible. As we navigate through a period marked by heightened global conflict, widespread famine, relentless pandemics, and unprecedented climate crises. The echoes of Revelation's forewarnings seem to resonate with increasing intensity. Consider the wars and rumors of wars that dominate our news cycles. Nations are pitted against nations, just as the prophecy foretold, painting a world where peace is fragile and conflicts are frequent. Then there are the famines, the heartbreaking images of hunger and desperation, mirroring the scarcity prophesied by the black horse and its rider. And in our interconnected world, we've witnessed how a virus can bring global superpowers to their knees, a stark reminder of the pestilences and plagues woven into the fabric of biblical prophecy. But it's not just conflict and disease that mirror the ancient texts. Our planet itself seems to be in distress. Climate change has ushered in extreme weather patterns with fires ravaging forests, 
hurricanes demolishing coastlines, and temperatures fluctuating with alarming unpredictability. These events, reminiscent of the natural calamities depicted in Revelation, add another layer of resemblance between prophecy and present-day realities. Amidst these global upheavals, a chorus of scholarly voices has risen, drawing connections between the signs of our times and the biblical blueprint of the end days. These theologians and scholars scrutinize world events through the lens of Scripture, finding parallels that are hard to dismiss. While interpretations vary, the common thread is the belief that these events are not random or isolated, but are part of a larger cosmic narrative, one that was set in motion centuries ago and is unfolding before our very eyes. As we stand at the crossroads of history and prophecy, it's hard not to wonder about the significance of these correlations. Are they mere coincidences? Or do they signify something deeper, a divine orchestration of events leading to a climax foretold? These are the questions that provoke thought, stir debate, and invite us to look beyond the surface, urging us to consider the possibility that the ancient words of prophecy might be more relevant today than ever before. In the midst of the turmoil and tribulation depicted in the prophecies, a beacon of hope shines brightly for those who hold steadfast in their faith. Believers around the world view these challenging times not merely as harbingers of despair, but as pivotal moments in a divine narrative where faith is tested and resilience is forged. Amidst the chaos, the promises of the Bible emerge as an anchor, offering solace and strength to navigate through the storm. The scriptures speak of protection and salvation for those who walk in alignment with God's word. Psalms echo with assurances, proclaiming that he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. These words resonate deeply with believers, instilling a sense of divine guardianship amidst the world's upheavals. The trials and tribulations are seen not as ends in themselves, but as passageways leading to a greater revelation of faith and hope. Central to this perspective is the profound and enigmatic concept of the rapture. This is a moment of ultimate redemption and transformation, a twinkling instant where believers are said to be caught up to meet the Lord, transcending the turmoil of the earth. It's a promise of deliverance before the outpouring of God's final judgments, a divine evacuation from the epicenter of chaos. For those who embrace this belief, the rapture is not just a doctrine, but a living hope, an imminent event that could unfold at any moment, reinforcing the call to live a life of readiness and spiritual vigilance. As believers watch the world events unfurl, aligning in ways that seem to mirror the ancient prophecies, their resolve only strengthens. The signs of the times are not met with fear, but with a fortified faith a deepened commitment to uphold the values and teachings that have been a guiding light through generations. In the face of uncertainty, their hearts are steadied by the unshakable belief that, no matter how tumultuous the world may become, there is a promise of peace, a future of restoration, and an eternal home beyond the temporal shadows of the earth. This is the believer's perspective, a horizon not limited by the trials of today, but expanded by the hope of a glorious tomorrow. As our journey through the tapestry of prophecy and present reality comes to a close, we are reminded of the timeless call to vigilance and faith. In the words of Jesus, as recorded in Luke 21, we are urged to be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen. This isn't merely a call to be aware of the signs of the times. It's an invitation to align our lives with deeper, more enduring values. In a world that often seems to be spinning faster with each passing day, where the headlines can leave us feeling unsettled or even fearful, the message of vigilance and faith stands as a beacon of stability and hope. It challenges us to look beyond the surface chaos and see the larger story unfolding, a narrative that calls each of us to play a part in a drama much grander than our individual lives. As you reflect on the prophecies discussed, 
the current events shaping our world, and the spiritual truths that have stood the test of time, consider what role vigilance and faith play in your own journey. How do the choices you make, the values you embrace, and the priorities you set reflect a life lived in awareness and alignment with a higher purpose? In these tumultuous times, our true strength lies not in our ability to predict the future, but in our commitment to live each day with purpose, integrity, and a heart open to the guidance of the divine. So as we navigate the uncertain waters of our era, let us do so with our eyes wide open, our hearts anchored in faith, and our lives a testament to the enduring power of hope. And now, as you ponder the path ahead, ask yourself this. In a world brimming with change and challenge, what will your legacy be? How will you answer the call to vigilance and faith in your own life? And how will you inspire those around you to embark on a journey of purpose and meaning? The stage is set, the script is unfolding, and the part you play is yours to choose.